Step on up. Check out the awesome pumpkin. Hi, everybody. This is uh, something I just made recently for uh, a little competition at work. Uh, I wanted to work on an electronics project, so I thought I'd make a talking pumpkin that you could uh, play video game with. So this is it. It's uh, uh, It has a couple different modes. Right now it's kind of in carnival barker mode where it's going to advertise itself. So about every 30 seconds it uh, says something. So it's probably going to say something really similar. Come on, here. play my game. You know you want to. There you go. And it goes through a bunch of loops of uh, different things to say. Uh, basically it tries to get people to play. So to play you got to push the buttons, which are basically the two buttons where its nose is. And I'll demonstrate that right now. It's basically a kind of Simon, old school Simon kind of game, but without it letting you know what the pattern is. So you got to figure out a pattern of five. It's either left, right, left, right, or right, right, left, right, left, that kind of a thing. So you just have to time it a little bit. Push my buttons. Come on, I dare you. All right, here we go. Three, two, or something. Okay, I got that one wrong. And then he insults you if you get it wrong. Two in a row? Three in a row, right. Oh, okay. You suck. So it's three right, and then probably one left. Okay. You should be ashamed of yourself. I know I am. Okay. Engage. I don't believe it. You actually won. And that's basically it. That's the game. So you just figure out the pattern of five buttons to push. Uh, once you win the game, it resets the the game board, essentially, and randomizes it. So now the next game is going to be different. Think you can win this time? Okay. Two on the Try left. harder. I don't have much hope. All right, got lucky. I bet you feel really proud about yourself right now. All right, I've taken the lid off and uh, unplugged them because he can be annoying after a while. Uh, I just wanted to show you the insides and basically how this is made. It's pretty simple um, if you have any experience with Arduinos and, and some uh, embedded electronics kinds of stuff. But uh, I'll just go through the, all the major components here and just kind of describe how it works. So on the front we have these uh, little LED matrices. These are made by Adafruit and these are the 8x8 uh, dual or bicolor LED matrix. Uh, components and they're they're really nice. Um, I'll just take one off here. So basically, it has a nice uh, microchip on the back that drives all the LEDs, and it only has four pins: one power, one ground, a clock, and a data pin. And it communicates over I squared C. So if you're familiar with I squared C, it's it's a really nice protocol that you can use to um, to communicate to multiple devices without having to run tons and tons of wires everywhere. So I've got two of these. Both of them are on the same I squared C channel, so they can, and they basically have the same address, so they work identically. So I don't have to treat the two eyes differently; they're the same thing. That way, um, when the eyes look left, they both look left, and if they they both move right, the same. So they're um, synced up with each other. So works out great. Uh, powered it off of a a 10 amp hour battery. So, and I, I had this running for a couple hours and it didn't even come off the first battery meter bar. So it, uh, it's still, still pretty topped off. This thing doesn't use much energy at all. So internally, it kind of looks like a rat's nest, doesn't it? It's, but it's not too bad actually. Mostly all these wires are about the four per each eye. I'll just pull this one out. Here's one that goes to this eye, the other one to the other eye. And then there's there's two wires down here per button, the power and the ground. And that's it for wiring. Well, actually, I'll take it back. There's there's two more wires that go to this other board. So effectively, there's two Arduinos in this box. This one here is running all of the logic. This is basically the whole game and everything. Um, it just doesn't play sound because there's no, this has no sound card. Essentially, these are so small, they just, that's a specialty thing. But... This one here is an Arduino with a sound, the wave shield made by Adafruit as well. 
and uh, it's pretty nifty. It basically gives sound card abilities to another Arduino. So this one does all the logic. This one does all the sound. This one, when it determines it needs to play a sound, just sends a command to this one to say, you know, play a sound of this category, like play an insult or uh, do barking, you know, like advertise or play a ding when you're in the game. And it also communicates over I squared C channel. So the eyes and this board are all I squared C slaves. And this is the I squared C uh, master. And mostly that's it. I just have the audio out from here going into a little speaker. This one has its own battery, so I didn't have to uh, run it off the other battery. And this one's supposed to run for like 10 hours continuous. So now this pumpkin could probably go almost all day because this is not really playing sound the entire time. Uh, I haven't tested it, but I probably won't. I'll just, I'll probably after this video, just tear this thing down because this pumpkin's not going to last forever. Um, some challenges that I had were making the, the nose just a little bit too thin in here. It's not a lot of material and these buttons, you know, you can see come loose. I didn't really have any problem with people playing, uh, while they were playing it. Um, uh, it, I was afraid it might come apart because you know, they're pushing on this things flex, but fortunately it held together for a couple hours. That's all that really mattered. And, uh, and also another little problem I had, I, you can kind of see some blue tape in here. The, the back of these, these things are not protected at all. And this is pumpkin and it has moisture and moisture can make contacts between pins and make things work or stop working. If everything's going great, but just something just makes a little bit of a contact, it'll basically stop communication completely and you have to reset the whole thing to get it going. So I, that was a little bit glitchy, but while it was working, while people were playing with it, flawless. So it was great. I was just a little nervous most of the time. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's something I've learned. Uh, next time I'll try to be a little bit better with packing in the area and keeping trying to keep moisture out. Um, I'm not too, too worried about getting these wet. Um, just as long as they're not operating wet. I mean, you could, I could take this right now, just dunk it in water and let it sit there overnight and it'd be okay the next day. Just as long as I dried it out. There's not really anything complicated on here that would soak up moisture. Um, at all. So I think that's it. Um, I just have this little, little plastic piece right here that I printed on my 3d printer. This plastic is just a Veroni, um, pattern that I, that I found on Thingiverse. I only put it in here just because it kind of kept the electronics up high and kept them out of line of sight because the mouth is quite large and I want, I didn't want them to see all the, the guts behind there quite as easily. Uh, also the, the, the teeth here, these are all 3d printed as well. And, uh, yep, I found all the 3D printed models that I needed and stuff on Thingiverse as well. Great resource. And I think that's about it. So, hope you enjoyed this.